I wanted to work with fire because that's how the work uh, is originated and to keep the connection of how the work is made with how the work lives after it's left the hands of the glass master. To be honest, I didn't know what to expect. I, I knew that it would touch on my love of chemistry and that there'd be a lot to do with alchemy and things that change states and how the human hand can interfere and make more beautiful that process. I normally work with textiles and uh, I can touch it and I can influence it and I can be in direct control of it. What's unique about working with the glass masters is you have to hand over that control. But it's also what makes working with glass really special because you, you have to have a relationship both with it as a material but also through another human being. So in a sense that human being becomes your hands and that's quite a magical experience in itself. The big experiment for us when I arrived here was because I wanted to work with fire and flame outside of the making process, we needed to find a way of making the finished piece and this live, unpredictable component work together. I love materials of, of any kind and every kind and I think they speak to people <laughs> uh, just as the human voice does. So if you engage with the material and you are completely open to it and you uh, focus a real attention on the way it's behaving, um, then I think you can design anything in it. I, th I think I've only just begun to be influenced by glass. I, the, the more I know about it, the less I realise I know about it. It teaches you a lot. Um, when I was playing around with some things, uh, just sketching this morning, uh, uh, one of the workers came and put a piece of glass down that had gone wrong, it was a, so for him it was a piece of rubbish. And I, I listened to it as, it as the temperature in it started to have a relationship and I was listening out for the next time it would crack. And there's something about the material that is so responsive. In many ways, it's as responsive as we are, <laughs> but just in a different manifestation. But just as we're all affected by temperature and we're all affected by the speed at which things changes or don't changes, um, strangely, it's a material that lives in a very similar way as we do. And I think that's one of the reasons why I'll continue to be in love with it. <laughs>